Hey everyone, this is Christine with Left Side Art. Today I have another art journal layout and I am working in my Large Dilutions journal. This has a lot of really nice thick mixed media paper. Though I do usually start with coating the pages with either a gel medium or a clear gesso. In this case, I opted for a gel medium that is uh, a little bit of a matte finish to it and I just quickly heat dried it with my heat tool. I like to make sure I apply this down the seam so that no liquids seep through onto other layouts. The first step with creating a layout is to create the background. And I started by using Tim Holtz Distress Paint and this color is called Abandoned Coral and it really glided on this page very smoothly and quickly, um, primarily because I had coated my pages with this gel medium. What I'm doing here, I'm not covering up the entire page because I do plan on pasting two larger sheets of cardstock that will cover up the majority of the center of my layout. Now I'm just gonna add some interest to my background. And this is one of my favorite script stamps and archival black ink. I ended up not liking this coral background and I will cover this up with another color here in a minute. But this technique I'm doing here, uh, I did like the way it turned out. I will use it again, but it's, it's lifting the paint back up by using a baby wipe through a stencil. And the Distress paint lifted very easily, no problem whatsoever. Just unfortunately, it ended up not working out for what I was going for this layout. Now I'm going to take some black gesso and a Dino Wakely stencil. With a palette knife, I just apply some here and there at random. Even though I end up covering up this coral color with another paint, you can still see a lot of this texture that I put in here to begin with through those final layers. I'm going to use the Dino Wakely Media Craft cardstock. This is the package that you could get with individual sheets. And this is a really nice thick cardstock. You could definitely put a lot of media on it with no problem. I distress the edges, three out of the four that will be um, on my page, the fourth side being the center fold. This little distress tool is also by Tim Holtz and it's a pretty nifty little thing to have. You can also distress edges with scissors if you don't have it, but basically it just has a razor blade inside of this little circular device. So now I'm starting to lay things out and I'm realizing that the tag that I want to use, which if you see my video when I mass produce a lot of jelly plate prints, this is one of them. I originally had a different one selected and so my color wasn't exactly working out. Um, I'll probably use a squirrel color again uh, with just a different layout with the other tag. It just wasn't working. The other tag is just slightly bigger and since I wouldn't layer the craft cardstock on here, it just, I needed a change. So I'm taking a few different colors here and I'm just kind of blend, blending them together and mixing them on the page. Usually you mix colors on a palette first or off to the side and then apply them, but I was really liking the effect I was getting. And by having this coral, coral color underneath it, some of it shone through a little bit here and there and it kind of gave it a different effect. I actually didn't end up minding it whatsoever. Otherwise, if this ended up turning out too horrific, I would just start it on another sheet and save this disaster for another day. But the mixture of this blue, green, and yellow um, and just sliding it around with a little bit of that black showing through and a little bit of the coral, I think it ended up working out. These three colors, by the way, are Distress Paints as well. The green is Lucky Clover, the blue is Blueprint Sketch, and the yellow is Fossilized Amber. 
If you happen to have seen the new tonic glass craft mats that are out, they're the black ones with a white grid on it. This piece of white that I have off to the side here when I'm dipping my paints onto it, this is what actually comes with that glass mat. I'm waiting for mine to come in, so in the meantime, I just rolled it onto another piece of tempered glass that I happen to have. And it works really nicely. It cleans up very nicely. Uh, the paints don't run on it. It's, just, it's so far been a very positive experience. Okay, so the cardstock that I had distressed, I am now just using some gel medium on the backs of them to apply them to my art journal layout. The little brush that I'm using to apply it is uh, it's by Tim Holtz and it's this nice little flat brush that just helps you get a really smooth, even coat. You could have also used double sided sticky tape or Eileen's tacky glue. This is Dina Wakeley's color Olive. I'm just taking a Distress Blender and one of her stencils that I had used in the background and apply some of the paint through that. I lost a little bit of video there, but I took the same blue that I used in the background and applied it through that wave stencil I had used earlier as well. And these hearts, these are really cute. These are also by Dina Wakeley that um, I just apply with some of blue archival ink in random places. I don't get a full imprint. I wasn't really going for it. Just a little bit of more interest in the background. This also helps tie in my tag, not only the colors, but also the use of hearts. Now this is a large stencil also by Dina Wakeley. And I thought about maybe just using part of it, like maybe just the word love, but I ended up using the entire stencil. It fit very nicely on this page. And I'll just take some of her paint, and this is in the night, and just apply it with a Distress Blender. And it really didn't bleed through the stencil very much at all. I actually think I got a pretty clean print off this. The quote on this stencil ended up acting as my quote for my art journal layout. I'm just taking some of that same night color and adding it to my tag to finish off the edges a bit. And the last step is to create a focal point, which I ended up using these cute little owls that I got at a craft store. They're just made of wood and I end up painting them and gluing them down. I'll put the rest of this to music. There are close up pictures at the end most of the supplies I use more often than not are listed below along with some online craft stores that I like to shop from. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you want a free download printable of this, um, there's a link also below to my website. I do this once a month where you can uh, download this with the month and year imaged on top of it um, to be used on your computer, phone, tablet, and whatnot. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll catch you next time. Thanks.